I am going to show you the best client resource pack there is in the latest version of Minecraft Battle Edition. So stick around. Now, of course, this is in my opinion, but the Tyler's UI pack is by far the best client or resource pack you can get in the latest version of Minecraft. So here you go. You can, of course, download this in the description down below, but make sure it's active. It does come with a cogwheel which allows you to customize a few things. Of course, if you want to go to more performance or ultra mode. So it's up to you. I'm going to leave it on default. But with that applied, of course, if you change anything in the cog wheel, you may need to reload Minecraft it just is how it is. But other than that, make sure it's active and apply it like so. And once it's applied, you'll see that my entire screen looks different. I've got this nice UI here. Of course, my skin is nice and front and center. And we've got the play and marketplace right here. But of course, in the left hand top corner, there's the options allows you to do quite a bit. And of course, you can check out the about about what this client or resource pack is about of and its features. But go back to the main menu here. You can also click the options and it does look different compared to the normal one. Once again, it looks very snazzy and you can scroll through here and do whatever you want. Nice and simple. It does allow you to change if you want your frames and your V-Sync so you can play around with that. Now going into the play screen here, it's changed up. It shows you what world you've played most recently and you can scroll and see your other worlds. And I like these little sections down the bottom here. It's nice and big. So if you're playing on mobile, you can easily press it. And of course, you have a nice little quick join button up there. But let's go into the best client world here. Nice loading wheel at the bottom there. Now we are in the world and there's a lot different about your user interface. So if we go into our options here, there's a nice little animation plays. And you can also go into settings and click this button right here. Now this will bring up the quick settings, which gives you all your most important options like your camera perspective. So let's change it to front, you hide, hide and hide hand, your FOV, which I will let's put it at 90 and you can change your brightness and render distance very quick and snappy. But let's go into the game here. You can see in the bottom right, we have a compass and a clock to tell time and direction. If we open up our inventory, it looks very different. We've got these two buttons at the top right here, which allows you to fast craft, but it is dangerous. And you have highlighted items. I will show you this in a bit. It's truly amazing. But over here, we've got the another quick craft button here. We also have quick move and quick drop mode. Same with these things right here. It's, 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 it's drop one and drop all. Another thing, you can see what mode you're on by looking down here, which is a nice little touch. So let's carry on and go into our chats and command over here. Now, this is a very cool looking chats and command, I must say. It comes with all the necessary commands here, which allows you to cycle over here to what previously did. What you're doing in the future, I, I always get this wrong, but there you go. So, of course, you can say slash. And now, of course, you have all these commands. You have an autocomplete here, which allows you to just cycle through all the different commands. And you can go the opposite direction. You also have this little here, which allows you to cycle between the chat and your commands. So, say you're typing a lot like E, 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 like that. You can click slash TP. But now, you can also go check what you were saying over there. So it doesn't disrupt you from typing your commands and seeing the chat, which is a very nice detail if you say you're talking to someone. Just a quick note about the chat. If you type out and you can see, you get a nice little new animation, which is pretty neat. But let's go on to one of the main features about this client or resource pack. You can go into a chest here or any container really, and you can see a bunch of new options. You can also see your player doll or model here, which is absolutely insane. But you can also see all these items in here. It's a very unorganized chest. See down here, there's a highlight items, which I showed you earlier or quickly. But now I'm going to show you how you use it. Now, say you want to separate all the dirt out of the chest, and now there's a billion of different items. All you need to do is type dirt like this and then click this little search button right here. It will highlight all the dirt and you can take out the dirt. The same thing with the diamonds. So let's type diamonds like so. That makes sure it's diamonds like that. Now it's highlighted all, which is a super useful feature. You don't have to type out everything. The more the merrier, but it works amazingly well. And I highly recommend this research pack for this feature alone. But if we go over here, we can also see quick move mode and drop mode. So of course, if you click quick move mode, it quickly transfers into your inventory. I'm not pressing anything, just uh, left clicking. So there you go, transfers very nicely. And you can transfer back fastly. Or you can click drop mode, which will just simply throw it out of the inventory. So that's a very, very useful feature. Another thing you might notice is that in the um, bottom right there, 
you can see that I'm holding dirt. It's a very cool feature to tell you what you're holding, but it also plays a little bigger role if you go into inventory and click this button right here. Now it's only working for the first hot cross slot, but it tells you about the item you're holding. Now I've just quickly hopped into creative here. Another cool feature is you can see your XP bar all the time, even in your creative inventory. You get some new buttons like destroy all and destroy one just to help out. You can also select stack amount right there, which is a nice little feature as well. But let's just grab a, a diamond sword here quickly. And oh, that's thrown. Oh, I'm still on throw mode. I'm an idiot. Oh, no, don't embarrass me, editor. I, I'm smart, all right? Okay, let's move a diamond sword into my hotbar here. You can see how much durability it has, as well as you hug over here, it gives you more information about it, which is a pretty neat little feature. One final thing I want to show you is if we grab some experience bottles, X bottles of enchanting over here. Let's just grab that and let's just throw it. It actually tells you how many levels you have in the left there, but on the right, it tells you how far you are into there. So I'm 33% into level four of XP. And of course that carries on over the many different levels just to help you know the exact amount of how much XP you have. Now there are many other features in this resource pack for you to discover. So I highly recommend to check it out. Once again, the download link is in the description down below. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy. Leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see ya.